Well, it's about time. I wasn't going to make any more videos, but if you recall, in my last one, we had to take the shrouding out here so I could torque that bolt off. I'm just going to move this out of the road for now. This is the housing that the uh, mount shield wiper assembly all has to go in, including the motor. If you remember, when I took the motor out, wiper motor, we had the pin here that we couldn't get at. And that was the reason I had to pull the whole thing apart. <laughs> figured this is the reason I'm going to make this video putting this all assembly all back in its place. It might might be useful for somebody else if they ever have to get at their windshield wiper assembly or arm replace uh, yeah arm replacement. And believe me, it is not easy. First of all, this is in two sections. Now I cleaned it up. When I was in here, this was this little flap here it was all plugged up in here with leaves and everything. I don't recall if I got a hundred percent video there, but I had to clean that all up, and uh, I noticed a lot of rust starting to show up on the metal portion. Now these plates and this little housing that holds the actual wiper motor, so I. Cleaned it up. I did it the old <coughs> make it look new again. Get a light in here. Get a little better lighting here. Can find a place to hook it to. We can somehow jam it in here. I might just do the trick. Let's have a look here. Oh yeah, that that helps. I'm just checking the camera to see if it helps and I see that it does okay uh, I'll quickly show you how tight I have now. had this car in the garage if you remember the last video I did get it running so that I could get it inside here this is over all the room I got left here in the front this is my spacing between the middle wall over here and the back door over there. In other words, when I brought it in, I was a little too far this way, so I took my old jack and I just threw the back end over. Well, I got the old jack a little bit too high, and there's the result at the back end. If you see at the very back, I threw it into the uh, there, so. I'm not going to worry about that at that point. So at least I got warmth now. I have to get this camera back where I had it. Yeah, it looks like I have that's where I had it. And uh, I got to unplug the light in order to get around here and then plug the light back in. Okay, I searched high and low on the internet looking if there was some kind of a manual to make it easier in putting this all back together could not find one and this is the big reason for the decision of I'm going to make a the darn video here for this particular task so of course I would have to knock it down first thing we're going to grab the motor wiper motor and figure its position on here that's how it was okay the plugs are here oh uh, yeah okay so this can only mount one way onto the housing. You just got to figure which way that was. That hole matches, and that hole matches, and that hole matches. Okay, let's find the bolts which should be in here. Looks like one of them. Right at this one. Let's find out now which one it is. Don't want to drop that clip, so I'm going to put it right there. There's another one, and there's the last one. They're a lot nice, 
nice if they'll be able to work in the garage rather than outside. Oh, where did I put my quarter inch dry ratchet? Looks like it's taken deep. Well, I'll be darn. Where in the devil is my quarter inch drive ratchet? Yeah. Looks like I take a clip to the tool box, which is on the other side. Okay, fine, just so. Got my adapter here, and uh, 3 eighths to a quarter. I'm going to tighten these three bolts down to begin with. You'll see in a few minutes here ex exactly why I figured the easy way out here and how to put this together. You'll see the reasons here shortly. Okay, when it's bolted down, you see where the pivot is? That was part of the reason for our second piece here. That's only part of the reason. Now, when that's sitting like this in its place, Hold it in the back here. These wiring harnesses. Something doesn't look right here. That's the bottom here. Strange. Now I see what it's catching. how this was. Come on, get in there. Let's get start with this top corner bolt here. As you see, all this wiring harnesses is what's giving you the fight here now. here to get these two started and they're different size okay is that a 10 millimeter okay I'm not gonna just bring them down hand tight now we get the arm assembly. Then move some stuff out of the road here. Uh, oh boy, uh, just tell me now. Can I get to that other side? I uh, don't think so. We're going to have to do a little stretching here. No, no, I can do it from here, right. Okay, now we'll get this in its position. So we're just going to lay that there. Now here's where the fun comes in. This is your arm that attaches to the motor. that goes in. That's the reason I didn't put and tighten this one bolt down here yet. And I just remembered something. Was it too far carried away? It has to come through this piece here. And yeah, it comes up through this hole right Gotta play with this in a straight position to rip and get the picture in my head again. And remember how the devil this was. Oh, it's 
I can remember and figure the way out here because of this top plastic piece. Oh, I wish I could see. Okay, we're so close. Thank you, wash it deal. It's not allowing me to move that arm in its position. One more fingers here today. Sorry about the interruption. Happens every time that I get busy doing something, the neighbor has to come over pestering me. Okay, you're out of the road. Okay, now can I get that on and on? I can't see. Okay, you're all freshly on. Oh, mercy. I hate tight spaces. I utterly hate them. <sighs> no, I can't see what I'm doing. It drives me when I can't see what I'm doing. It's frustrating already. It's supposed to pivot where it connects here, the motor, and it's not want the pivot. Very, very frustrating. Like I said, these damn things are all built by a robot. They don't think about human hands anymore. Nah, what a nightmare. They make things, everything, into a nightmare now. Couldn't care less about mechanics or where when it comes to repairs. Make it as hard as possible. That's how... Oh, we can make more money. That's what it's all about. Money. Get on there. I'm getting mad now. Son of a bitch in tight corners. Little tight space. Everything designed when that was before the body was put on. Why won't you get on there? Halfway on. And you don't want to get all the way on. Why? Well, finally. So, I see that's the only way you can do it. Get it on there. And here's the reason why this has got to be all pre-assembled. Once you get it figured out, the damn pattern. If only I could keep my light there. Where'd that put that little clip now? Right there. Is because of this. This stupid clip right here. It's got to go on here. If I can just remember now how it went on. This portion has to clamp down. Ah. Butterfingers. Where did now? Where did it drop to? Where in the devil did it go to now? Well, how can it just disappear in a chamber like this? I don't believe this. I absolutely don't believe this. Oh, there it is. Wait, you wouldn't even think of looking. But, ha, to get it. Oh, boy. I've got my finger jammed. Ah. Now, quit being ready, ready running around, too. I see it. it has to go on like this. This portion looks like it has to go down. I've got to figure the pattern how this clip works. Okay, I see how... Bit tricky. Lift this up, push that down. What a stupid design. Why couldn't they just use a plain old Jane C clip? Did I get it? No, I didn't. Well, there's got to be a secret to this. I'm so close, so close. Turn this, I don't know if you can see it, but shine a light on it. There it is on. Now the next stage. I'm catching on everything. Ah. Ah. ah, now we gotta break it all in wine again.
stupid engineering. Stupid, stupid, stupid. I'm trying to make room here to get this back bolt started, which is underneath right there. I can't see. That feels like I got it. Tell you if it wasn't. I was the engineer. It shouldn't be designed that way, that's for sure. Hateful, hateful, hateful. All I can discuss safely. Give me anything earlier. Said it before and I'll say it again. What happened to the good old days? Well, it was simple. People have forgotten that. Mm, drop in the hole. Now to get this tough plastic piece over. How was this? This has to be on the top side. I get this first one started. Oh, my back. God, yeah. Now to finally get this, this one to drop in its location. This well, where is the location? Location straight down there. Okay, so where's this arm supposed to be resting at? In the off position. Don't tell me that that has got to go underneath that bracket. I asked you not to tell me that. Sure looks like it. Yeah, it's got to go underneath it. No, well, if it isn't one thing, it's another. That's how it's been ever since I started this project. Yeah, I can see that right now. It's got to go underneath it. That's why it's not dropping in place. It's all exact jigsaw puzzle. There's no two ways about it. It's a giant jigsaw puzzle. Ah, either too short or too long. Everything. Either too short or too long. Wonder mechanics drink. And when you can't see where you're at, it does not help. Oh, look at that. I'm jammed. No matter which way I go, it won't move. It's just like there's no winning. You know, from the few tools yesterday year, up until about the mid-70s. Didn't need a whole ton of tools. Anything after 1975, you start to add add more and more tools every year to your collection if you're going to work on cars. And not only that, so many special tools. I still remember some when I was with BMW for one lousy bearing in the transmission. You had to buy the special tool to remove the old bearing. Well, of course, BMW wanted X amount of dollars for this tool. And when you look at the tool, just go down to Princess Auto or your local parts store, buy yourself a 10-ton jack, and you can make the same kind of tool, three half over less than half the price. Because you'd make me winch you all the way out instead of having to be able to spin you out with the fingers. Because the longer I'm bent over like this, the harder it gets to my back. Ah! Come off! Very, very frustrating. That won't lift high enough. Ah, there's just no winning. Damn, what a jigsaw puzzle. 
tell I'm getting pissed off. Like I said, that's why I decided to make this video. Because it could be others if they ever got to do a job like this. This whole complete thing has to be all as one unit coming off and going on. And you can see right there with this two bolts bolting it down. How are you going to access that pin? Or that clip, I should say. That is the whole reason. Just because of that one stupid clip. No, can I get it? No, I have to loosen this other one off too. Ah, this is no one hour job. Now to lift this end up just high enough to get this arm underneath it. Oh boy. Yeah, here we go again. Ah, I gotta take a break. My back is killing me. It's already in so much pain. I gotta stop. My, I had a 1979 LTD, which exact same body style as this. I had to replace the wiper arm assembly in it, and it was nowhere near the nightmare this thing is. Just in, since 1979 to this 87, that much of a change. Some engineer must add one too many. Okay, gotta get this thing finished off. It hurt me Satan last clip there about my back hurting well i was down for a couple of days so time to get back at this and finish this off before i turned the camera on i played around a bit figuring this out this jigsaw puzzle and i got the final end figured out i also came up with a little bit, little bit better lighting so i'm just gonna plug the light in here and now i can lit up the back end here so you can see better I don't think the camera's going to show 100% the details, but the arm here it was giving me the trouble, if you remember, I said it had to go underneath. Definitely did have to go underneath. Now we can put this piece on. Let's grab a bolt here. Get one in place. Finger tight for now. Put another one in here. Okay, now lay this piece like this, and we can get these two main bolts in. Those are the two with the 10 millimeter head. This is the wider. So that would be the one, all right, the wider one. And it just dawned me that was the one I put here. I gotta change it. Now, where was that right there? This is why they won't want this in place yet. Until you put this bolt in here in place. And come on, start. Now where did we go to? Where are we here? Right there. Okay, now that those two are bolted down, we can get this in place. And this is gonna turn it a little bit. As we gotta turn it, you gotta try to get it in its place. There are two little notches here, and the one bolt here in the corner here that is bolted down. Oh, we get this bolt it down here in the corner should help it from dancing around that is if i can see where the hole is get the flashlight here okay then lined up suck that one down ah, yeah. okay you're a 10 millimeter head i thought there was a different are you the other 10 millimeter head yes you are okay that's why there's two different sizes okay answered that question why there was only two 10 millimeters and the rest all eight same bloody thread for the yeah why did they have to have two these two here for the main frame the main ones are the 10 millimeter head the rest are all eight i think i just said that but i'll say it again anyway before i get too far let's get them changed around I'll just show you what i'm talking about that's the two heads same threads you should just be able to hold you like that change that one 
And just if I can get in there. Doesn't help when you got wear glasses and you get that light up here reflecting off your glasses. Need octopus hands. Now, right there. Ah. Now, where'd I put that fault? I just finished showing you, folks, the difference. Now we gotta find it again. Is it that one? Yes. So we're glad to get this thing stinking job done. Still got other things to do on this car. back to this. I don't know what engineer came up with this idea, but I'd sure like to modify it. It's stupid the way it is. Now these are supposed to snap in here. It's one. Now to get this last one. Okay. That's in place. Oh, I think I know what I did wrong. Yeah, this is supposed to be that one. Okay, well that's not a problem. And this one is a bit of a problem because I can't see properly. I can't see if them holes are lining up. Well, the top one is not wanting to line up. Why? Where do I gotta go? And then... Oh! Nah. This is frustrating as hell. You know, I enjoyed working on the four-cylinder jobs. Because they were so easy you could access everything from the front. It's got to be a secret why this is not lining up right. Is it, maybe it's this way. Where are the holes? I can't even see them. Ridiculous. All because of this damn piece right here. You just can't see where they're at. Uh, you know what? I'm going to say the hell with this, and I'm going to modify this damn thing. Well, maybe what's why it's... Bulging out. Maybe it goes underneath here. Ah, aha, it does. Okay, that can help because uh, see, that makes a difference. Well, that, that locks in better, yeah. Okay, that answers that. And I see that hole is right there. This is the worst part now. To get that lined up. Uh, looks like it's right there. Get it broke, make sure. Aha! Uh -huh. I think I heard that. Oh, great! Uh -huh. Anyhow, while I got the camera set up here, I gotta give my back a break. This, then, is the final piece that goes on here, interlocking that. So. You can put your rubber all along in here for your hood thing here. You got to get some kind of a lining tool like a set of punch or scroll or something that I can poke down in there to line it up properly. Yeah, my test like should do here. Yeah, that is if it's not all tangled up, which it is. Great. Okay. That is the hole right there. Try this once more. Uh, okay. Yeah, stupid engineers. Everything has to line up just like that. Or it doesn't go. Which is total crap. I like the finger started, but this is not allowing me to do that to me. I said the heck with that sad my damn. And as you can see, that bloody piece of Get plastic interferes with everything you gotta do. Every damn little thing. Well, you get the concept, you see how it's there, and that was my goal. So you could see how you have to do an R and R and why this whole complete assembly comes out as one and goes back in as one unit. So I'm just gonna finish doing this. 
because I can feel my back starting to go and I'm not going to do like I did the other day. Now, like I said, I suffered two days after. I don't want that happening again. So with that, we'll say thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Until the next one, adios. Thank you.